ladies and gentlemen, in the last few days we've seen our community torn by misrepresentations and false out allegations by individuals who represent the national LGBT movement. They came to our community from out of town to demand that I resign my seat on the school board simply because I dare to express concerns regarding a curriculum which we taught to our children. State law mandates certain things to be taught, which I stated publicly I would support because it's the law, even though I have concerns. But for the intolerant, that isn't good enough. You see, they want to silence any voice who dares question anything LGBT. Their tactics and narrow-mindedness remind me of those individuals my great-grandparents spoke about during the dark days of the Ottoman Empire leading up to the 1915 genocide of our people. 1.5 million Armenians were murdered because they dared to disagree with the powers that be. The intolerance shown by the Ottomans toward my people was insufferable. These leaders of the LGBT movement are much like them. They're, they're outsiders coming here to attack my church, trying to blame the faith community for the comments that I alone am responsible for. This too was a tool of the Ottoman Empire. As they tried to diminish the Armenian churches. Let me be clear. I spoke as an elected official and as a father. The day parents and their duly elected representative lose their voice in matters of education, Impacting our children is the day we morph from education to indoctrination. As an elected official representing the parents of this district who elected me with almost 90% of the vote, one of the highest percentages in California history, their vote empowers me to be a watchman on the tower, a voice of reason, to raise a flag of concern when warranted. If we cannot speak openly and freely, then how are we an open and free society? What do these LGBT leader, LGBT leaders fear? Dialogue? Or could it be they simply want to silence anyone who may express or hold a different opinion? To me, this is pure fascism. The undeniable truth is in our country, we have the right to express our opinions. It's called freedom of speech. These individuals who are personally attacking me, my religious foundation, while demanding my resignation, I ask why. Is it simply because I exercised my constitutional rights of freedom of speech while I was doing my duty? Or is it something more nefarious? Like simply desiring to muzzle anyone who dares not fall in line with the narrative of the day. It is sad, they like the Ottomans are trying to be the thought police. They are trying to make people of a faith second class citizens. And they seek to silence our voices in the public square, just like my great grandparents. And millions of others had to endure at the hands of the Ottomans before escaping to America. Today, we are being attacked, vilified, labeled, and accused by people who know nothing about me, my personal history, or my beliefs. They simply want to impose their will upon, upon others by silencing our voices. Again, much like the Ottomans who silence, belittle, or even worse, any Armenian who dared to question or stand up to the politically correct voices of their day, I say today, on behalf of our American Armenian community, no, not again, not on my watch. They say I'm intolerant, yet I'm not the one seeking to impose my will upon others. The truth is, the very people who demand tolerance from others are in fact the true intolerance. They seek to silence all voices who express or share a concern or a difference of opinion. Instead of respecting the differences of opinion, and honoring the equal rights granted to all. They dishonor the Constitution. Benjamin Franklin said freedom of speech is a principal pillar of a free government. When this support is taken away, the Constitution of a free society is dissolved and tyranny is erected down its ruins. Is that what we want as a legacy for our children? For me, the slippery slope to the Ottoman Empire, if we are not diligent, that is not the America we know and love, which became home and refuge to my ancestors and my people as well as millions of others. Remember, if freedom of speech is limited only to those whose society views as politically correct, then it's only a matter of time before these same short-sighted and bigoted individuals will turn their sights upon other freedoms granted us by the Constitution, such as the freedom of the press and the freedom of religion. I want to be clear. I want to be very clear. I will not resign my position. I will not be silenced by the bullies who want to control the public narrative by mischaracterizing the intent and meaning of my statements. My comments were not intended to offend anyone, but simply to express a concern. 
if we as board members cannot openly and honestly express concerns without being marginalized and labeled, then why do we have a board? In closing, I want to thank my supporters, our community, the people that came here tonight, all of them. And I want to reiterate, Fresno Unified School District supports freedom of speech and equality for all. We, we respect and appreciate varying opinions. Historically, we have never been afraid to discuss and openly debate any given subject. For this is what makes America great. Meeting adjourned.